This is a project that I'm calling the egg lathe. And what it does is it operates like a lathe and you have an egg in there. And I've done a few sample eggs over here. Some of them have come out better than others. But if you have an egg lathe, then you have a chance to try uh, lots of different ideas. If you have these plastic eggs, then you don't have to blow them out like I did with these ones. What the way this works is, there's a motor on this end. That motor is connected to a gearbox. And the gearbox drives this axle, which is made out of a pen, plastic uh, ballpoint pen. And then it grips onto the egg with this um, pencil pen grip that came off of a pen. There's another pen grip here. The other side of the pen that was from this, a uh, different kind of pen than the pen grip, uh, the other side of the pen holds onto this motor sh shaft right here. And the motor is not connected to electricity. Basically, it's just being used as a bearing. And get electricity to it by way of this little battery pack that happens to have a uh, power switch on it, which is a nice thing to have. And it's just temporarily connected with a couple of um, alligator clips. And so it, when you turn it on, it turns the egg. And it's a little bit off center. It's a little bit tricky to get centered. But that right there, that's pretty good. And let me just see if I can get this to go. And so basically when the egg is turning, you can just put a line down. And if you want to have a curve to it, you can. You can have a long curve. Or a quick curve, like the first ones that I did. And so then basically, there's the egg made on the egg lathe. I suppose with a little bit more practice, I could get it looking a, a lot better. The way that this is made is with laser cut material. This is coroplast. And the coroplast is cut with a whole bunch of slots in it. And the reason for that was I, wanted to, I wasn't sure how far I'd need to go with these uprights. So I m made lots of options to be able to um, slide the, the um, perpendicular pieces in and out. Um, this is a version of it here that was done in um, cardboard because uh, I wanted to make sure that everything fit together. So I did, made the whole thing in cardboard and then made it in coroplast. The next version of it should probably be done in something more durable like um, plywood or acrylic. And the perpendicular um, supports are held in this technique here called T-nut. And what happens here is you put a nut and a washer in there. There's a little T-shape and then you can tighten it up and then that will help hold this piece in relation to this piece. And it works pretty well. And so there is the egg lathe, a couple of different, this one came out pretty good. And I will uh, put a link to the files for the body of this. And if you'd like to try making your own egg lathe, then that would be very great. Uh, you'll need to get access to a laser cutter uh, or get them through a service, uh, get the parts cut. But then once you've got the parts cut, it's, it's a pretty easy thing to put together.